lay over fences instead of hurdles, but just proving what a good horse he is by being able to do it over hurdles at any rate. He was bred by his owner, Roscoe Harvey, both by a Chris Sweeting Stallion and the mare was by a Sweeting Stallion, so they'll be really rooting this one on. But there's three British breds in this, another one, Flaky Dove, the mare, and she, of course, gets a five-pound allowance here, being a, a mare, and although she's run three times and not won this season, she's been beaten, but far from disgraced. Your old uh, entire horse, he's been uh, nothing but a perfect gentleman. Yes, and there is Say Paris, the fourth of them. This one's really been around a bit. First with Paddy Mullins, good horse in Ireland. Won all over the place on all sorts of ground, including heavy twice at Fairy House and Turlers. Came over to um, Martin Pike. John Joe had him first of all. Uh, he's really been around. He's with George Reed now. They've run him once and he pulled up at Newcastle. If they can get the secret to him, he is a good horse. Pulls quite hard, this, this chap, but... Um, Certainly his last form doesn't give him much show here at all. Line, uh, four to all six, right. Rel Keel, seven to four right. against Flaky Dove, six is Gwait Marpus, Sapri, fifth is Peter. And with the wind behind him, they set off to face up to the first of the eight flights with uh, Great Marquis, the leader from Rel Keel, taking a good hold, Flaky Dove, and uh, finally restrained Sapri. Great Marquis at the first. From Relkiel, Flaky Dove, and Say Paris. Marquis Everett from Relkiel, Flaky Dove, Say Paris. As they race towards the second. Great Marquis not going a great gallop very sensibly in this arduous ground and buffeting gale. Same order over the second which will be the last next time racing up towards the winning purse now great marquis from rel keel flaky dove and say paddy just passing the post before they swing left-handed and then they run in the teeth of the gale when they turn this corner Great Marquis, Rail Keel, Flaky Dove, and Say Paris, the same order so far as they splash round this bend, which the riders say is particularly bad. Both both bends are now racing, of course, towards the top bend. But more immediately, flight number three. Great Marquis, Rail Keel, Flaky Dove, and a little gap then to Say Paris, the 50 to 1 chance. The divots flying as they come to the third, and Great Marquis lands over in the lead from Rel Keel. Winner of eight of his nine hurdle races. This young horse, the junior here, a six year old, Flaky Dove, the champion over on the far side, and then Say Perry. Great Marquis comes to this under Tom Jenks, the fourth. Jumps it from Rel Keel, Flaky Dove, and Say Perry. Say Perry not so quite so far behind him now. Marquis coming to number five. Flaky Dove getting a little bit closer to Rel Keel on Rel Keel's outside. Great Marquis over the fifth from Rel Keel, Flaky Dove, and Say Perry. Now a long run towards the home straight, in which there are three flights. And when they turn into it, They'll be thankful to have this win behind them. Great Marquis making the turn from Rel Keel, Flaky Dove, Say Paris. Tom Jenks from Adrian Maguire, Mark Dwyer, and Lorcan Noir. So, round that muddy bend and racing up towards the Third last, Great Marquis from Rel Keel. Rel Keel much closer now to Great Marquis. Comes right up here, is pricked to join him with the champion. Flaky Dove towards the near side. Second last this now. Rel Keel and Great Marquis. 
together at it, but Rail Keel the quicker. Flaky Dove towards the left. Rail Keel under Adrian Maguire, seeking to make it nine out of ten over hurdles. In the centre of the trio, just the leader from Flaky Dove, but Flaky getting closer. It's Rail Keel from Flaky Dove. Rail Keel being shaken up now by Adrian Maguire. And going on from the champion, Flaky Dove, and is going to win the Haydock part champion hurdle trial and make it nine out of ten over hurdles. Rail Keel wins the Haydock Park champion hurdle trial. Second is the champion, reigning champion Flaky Dove. Third is Great Marquis. And fourth, Say Paris. I thought he's shown a real aptitude for jumping. He's a much better hurdler, or was a much better hurdler than Butler's Twitch. I don't think the ground will be any problems. If he jumps around...